In pain to move okay. character to a location. Six. You can go live again. It was pointed to the wrong device. We need to, as much as possible, stop unplugging and plugging things back in. Yeah. Valley. Thank you, Matt. Yep. We appreciate you. Alright. Well, I don't have the mouse. Can you? <laughs> <laughs> Yay, time roller! Hey, time roller! We're Yay. sorry we're not playing sea salt and paper. <laughs> if we have time, maybe, but. <laughs> yeah, so as we tried to explain at the beginning, but apparently didn't have audio, uh, we're having a different Twitch error where we're not able to change the name from the last stream. So we're actually playing Lorcana today. Um, not sea salt and paper. Not sea salt. And paper. Uh, yeah. So it we're... is not lunchtime. It is not. It is no game time though. Yeah. Um. I feel so bad. Matt's gonna. <laughs> Matt's mad at us. And uh, so right now we're gonna be playing with the Into the Inklands uh, starter decks, which I have yet to play. I'm very excited. To try I'll say I've, I've, I've sleeved this up. I have not played. Yeah. This starter deck just yet. Uh, but I've played with all the previous starter decks, which we have over here. So if we have time for a second game after all of this, then maybe we'll <laughs> randomize and and play uh, mix and match with some of the older decks. But right now we're just gonna jump into these. Uh, into the Inkland. Yeah. Um, I mean, do we want to roll a spin to see who goes first? Yeah, sure. Uh, just high roll. All right, 11. Six. Six. So All right. Go ahead and go first. Right. We already did our uh, we already drawing our hands yeah. and our mulliganing. So I am going to uh, reveal this uh, Duke Weaselton. Oh, the Duke of Weaselton. Yes. And put him face down. It would be Duke Weaselton. Yeah. Voiced by my favorite voice actor. Yeah. Uh, past turn. Did he voice the Duke in both? Yes. Zootopia? Yeah, that's Alan Tudyk. I do draw for turn second and go first, correct? Yeah. All right. Uh, I am going to reveal and ink Cubby, the Mighty Lost Boy. I'm going to exert that ink for Pluto, friendly pooch. All right. Uh, he has good dog. I can I can exert him and a one fewer resource for the next uh, character I play this game. That's pretty good. Uh, but he's drawing, so I can't do that now. I will pass my turn to you. Time roller. Um, first time chatting with us, by the way, is uh, actually Miniature Market is his local flag. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. So. Well, thanks for time roller. Behind the yeah. web page. We appreciate you. I'm going to reveal this. Sumerian talisman. Okay. Face down. And hmm. I had just a choice to make here. I guess I misunderstood that. You might have been just online, but it's fine. We appreciate you anyway. I am going to you know I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna play Huey. Huey. Uh Huey, savvy Huey, nephew. Huey. He's got support. And uh whenever he quests, if I have characters named Dewey and Louie in play, I may draw three cards. Oh, so there nice. you go. Let's go ahead and pass the turn. Ready, set, draw. All right. Sensing a DuckTales theme to my deck. You have Ooh. the... Yeah, you have the... No. <laughs> Don't want to get copyright restricted. Yeah. <laughs> well, they, they won't do anything litigious. Uh, I'm going to reveal DeVille Manor. Two resources. Mm -hmm. uh, I think... I mean, if we're talking about just going for it, um, I'm going to exert Pluto to use his ability to pay one less ink for my next character. Okay. Spend two. For Pongo, Determined Father. Ah. Um, he has Twilight Bark. Once per turn, I can pay two ink to reveal the top card of my deck. If it's a character card, put it into my hand. Otherwise, put it on the bottom of my deck. Okay. He's drying, though, so I can't do anything with him with him. So that's your turn. All right. Going to reset draw. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and reveal Hey Hey, Accidental Explorer. Hey Hey. That face down. And... We're just gonna get out. Dewey. Uh oh. I got two of the three nephews. This is the showy nephew. He's just got support. And I will pass turn. Okay. Ready, set, draw. Okay. Oh, I can change it. <laughs> Guess what I'm doing, guys. <laughs> All right. I am going to reveal a card of which I will announce soon. 
Uh, we're going to reveal Wendy Darling. Okay. Put her into ink. Then I'm going to exhaust or exert Pluto uh, to play uh, Kida for free because it does okay. not pay to a minimum of one. Ah. Um, and then I'm going to exhaust three of them for Raleigh, Hungry Pup. Your mean yeah. Agram. Okay. <laughs> Agram, uh, or Agram, I don't know how they pronounce it. Uh, someone here in the office says they aren't the prettiest of faces, but their faces are in. Oh, I thought that was you. <laughs> I want to say. Uh, and then I'm, I think I'm going to quest with Pongo. Okay. Um, to gain one click floor. All right. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I think it was muted whenever we were talking about how you had this nice, fancy... Nice, fancy... Nice, fancy... Look at, uh, this, look at it. Look how it turns. Counters. It's so awesome. It's so cool. It's not even in screen. Well, why is that not in screen? <laughs> there it is. is. There yeah. we go. Okay. Zoomed in. <laughs> it's so cool. You have the nice... Lower counter, you have the nice damage counters. I came with the dice and the paper punch out. Oh, no, don't look at my hand. Wait, that's I, my hand. I didn't. Wait, that is, wait, that's my hand. Yeah, that's my hand. Anyway, my all turn. right, uh, so that's it. Okay. I have one more. Already set draw. I'm going to go ahead and put Flounder face down. Oh, rip my boy Flounder. guess what? No. It's no. Louie. No. We got Louie, Dewey, and Huey. Uh, so I am going to quest with Huey. Huey. Okay. Support. I'm gonna give, I guess, Dewey the plus one. Okay. Um, but since I have two so, Dewey and Louie, uh, support. Right? It's his full power, correct? Oh yeah, yeah. 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 So he'll be a uh, four, mm -hmm. three. So, uh, but I get to draw three cards. So yeah. one, two, three. Nice. Um, so that's pretty good. It's not bad. Let's see. Do I want? Do we to cut three things? I things fixed it. Would. It's correct. Uh, so if you if you you can yeah. only crash into Pongo or Pluto. Yeah. Uh, Pongo Pongo would, would be a full trait. Yeah. So let's go ahead and take out Pluto. No. I'm gonna double check. I think he's a man. You know who else took out Pluto? That, hey, that's, a... that's messed up. <laughs> oh, Hana means family. I will end my turn after that. Okay. Ready, set, draw. Okay. Um, we will reveal Horus. Okay. Put him down. Um, so those both just have support. Mm -hmm. You probably have another Huey because you have another Huey in your hand is the question. Uh, we are going to. I think we're just going to attack Huey with Rolly. Okay. I'll take two damage back, but yep. it's still kicking. Um, uh, we will. I think we're just going to. Way too early. I shouldn't have done it. Chad, I shouldn't have done it. <laughs> um, because I need to, yeah, okay, yeah, we're gonna quest with Kita to go to two, and then we're gonna trade Pongo in. All right, do we? Then I'm gonna spend four for Tinkerbell, uh -oh. a generous fairy. Uh, making an, make a new friend. I can look at the top four cards in my deck, I can reveal a character among them, um, to put into my hand, which I need to. There we go, that's my hand. Um, um, we'll reveal Lucky the 15th pup, and then I will put the rest on the bottom in an order of my choosing. What's the, what do you choose? I, I don't need to tell you. <laughs> Only I get to know. Uh, then I will pass the turn. Okay. I will ready, set, draw. Um, let's see here. I've got another Duke I'm going to put face down. Duke of Wesselton? And what? Weaselton. Or Weaselton? 
think. We're going to get out a couple more dots. Oh, okay. I got. Are you. Are, is the web... quack pack maybe backjack? <laughs> Not quite. I got Webby Vander Quack. Everybody's favorite duck, obviously. And I've got Della Duck. Unstoppable Mom. Oh. Uh, she's got Reckless. Don't, don't we all? And then. <laughs> Uh, he also has support, support. Um, and she's just a 2-2 two -two two. with some very cool flavor text. Yeah. Welcome to the Inklings, mm -hmm. I believe it says. Uh, something like that. The lore. Oh, I forgot to gain my lore whenever I quested with Huey, because that's how I drew my cards. So oh, have, that's right. Uh, one. one. Yeah. Um, a judge taking lore out of turn? Or did I quest with this as well? No, you did not. Uh, he's been drawing. It's okay. He can cheat. He's the one that came out that turn. Yeah. And because... then, well, this one, this one quested. Because I didn't attack any of yours. No, you ran over Pluto. I did run over Pluto. You're right. Okay. You killed my dog. I'm oh, trying to cheat, and you got to call me out for it. Judge. Right. Literally this time. Um, yeah, I told you. He could cheat. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's against me, chat. Everybody's against me. I need I need you to raise up your hands and lend me your energy um, real quick. Chat, um, please. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just quest to get two more. Gotcha. So I'm at three. And then right. I'll end the turn after that. Yes, ma'am. Ready? And draw. All right. Um, I'm going to uh, reveal Flotsam. Jetsam? Not yet, just Flotsam. Oh. Ah. I'm gonna quest with Rossi. Those are right. definitely unfortunate names, though. Um, to gain a lore. You could say there's some four unfortunate souls. Uh, I'm going to get support. That's a good one. <laughs> give his attack to Tinkerbell. Okay. So Tinkerbell now is a 4-4. Four, four. Tinkerbell will run into Louie. Yes, so three damage on the tank. Um, and then I will quest with Kida to gain another one to go to four. Uh, I'm going to spend four ink to play Lucky the 15th pup. Um, which I can uh, exert to reveal the top three cards in my deck. Put each character with cost two or less into my hand. Put the rest on the bottom in any order. Um, and then when he quests, if I have four other four or more other characters in play, my other characters get plus one lore this turn. Mm. He's yeah. really good. He's not bad. He's good payoff for the puppy synergy. Yeah. Uh, that is my turn. So when I do go back to deck building for this game, uh, since there is no deck maximum, um, only a 60 card minimum, I will be making a 101 card Dalmatian deck. Oh my gosh. Uh, since one of them, you can pack up to 99 copies of. Because that's funny. So <laughs> I want to take care of some of your guys. I don't think that's so, necessary. Uh, Della, who has Reckless, is going to challenge Tinkerbell. Okay. So just one damage there. And then... Tinkerbell's little. You'd think one damage would take her out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Webby uh, Vanderquack's going to challenge Raleigh. So okay. I'll get three damage on... Uh, her. And then, let's just say this pup may have been misnamed. I don't think he's quite so lucky. No. Under the dragon's breath. Oh. And that will be the end of my turn. All right. Ready, set, draw. I sure could use a Huey, Dewey, and Louie right about now. Yeah, I'm sorry about those ducks. Um, gotta have them all in a row. You gotta have them all in a row. I had them in a row. He did. They, that, they were in a row until my dogs ate them, which... Wow. Aggressive. 
He just roasted one of my dogs with dragon fire. I think. I mean, I see your point. I, I see both sides of this. <laughs> okay, we're going to spend four for Peter Pan, Lost Boy Leader. Oh boy. Um, once per turn, when he moves to a location, I gain lore equal to that location's lore. Okay. And speaking of locations, uh -oh. uh, I'm going to play Neverland, okay. which will earn me one lore at the start of my turn. has a move cost of one mm -hmm. um, and has four health. Um, I have not resourced this turn yet. Um, and I'm not going to. Uh, I will um, use Kida and oh. I'm just gonna run, uh, crash her into a webby. All right. Got questers is online. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite streamers is online, and I was like, oh. Nikki, you I cannot get said, out of this stream to watch uh, that stream. Come on. No. <laughs> um, well, Della has Reckless, so she's going to challenge Neverland, mm -hmm. so three games there. And then... I think... Um... I think we're gonna get a little bit more reckless because we got Maui. Yeah. It was a five-two with reckless. Nice. Um, but if I didn't get rid of my Hey Hey, uh, whenever Hey Hey quests, he gains one lore and loses reckless. Oh, fun. It's kind of neat. Uh, I also have Simba, Scrappy Cub, just yeah. a one-one that can quest for three whole lore. Wow. So he just uh, wants to be king. Yeah. And I will. Pass the turn. All right. Uh, so ready, set, draw. No, sorry. He just wants to eat a caterpillar. <laughs> yeah. Um, I will gain one lore from my location. I will eat this just to get the maximum out of it. We're going to spend one to move Peter Pan there. Okay. Um, which will gain me one lore because of Peter Pan's ability. Mm -hmm. So go up to six. I think we spend two for Elga Sinclair. Uh, when this character is challenged and banished, banish the challenging character. That's good. And I think we're going to spend two for Wendy Darling. Oh boy. Um, who is just a one three for two. Mm -hmm. um, Peter Pan has a thing he can do. Uh, and I think I'll just quest with him and go to seven. That is my turn. I will ready, set, draw. And uh, we're going to have Della challenge Peter. Okay. So they'll both die. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to have Maui challenge Neverland. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to have Simba Quest, so I'm going to gain three lore. Okay. And I'm going to get out Grandma Tala. Grandma Tala. Who's Grandma Tala from? Uh, Moana. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. She was the one that turned into a stingray. Yeah. Spoilers. No. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> when I play uh, her, I look at the top two cards of my deck. I can put one in my hand and the rest of the bottom of my deck in any order. Nice. Uh, well, get rid of that. And I'm going to keep this. And that'll be the end. All right. Ready, set, draw. I'm going to spend one for DeVille Manor. Okay. Another one for, for one. Mm -hmm. Start of my turn. Um, it's just not clean, is it? It never is. Uh, we are going to 
turn her sideways and then decide what that action is going to be. <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to run into Simba. Makes sense. And does she then... get any damage on her? Yeah, she does. She gets a damage on her. I need to be so careful with my hand and my. Yeah. I'm so I, used to just. I tried to put her on top of my deck. I have been forgetting this yeah. entire game. <laughs> um, we are then going to. Whoa. I just noticed something really cool about this card, and I'll try to show it off whenever. Um, I think we're just gonna just prevent you from immediately cracking that base. Uh, so we're gonna run Helga into Maui. All right, fair enough. And that is my turn. I will ready, set, draw. Um, Grandma Tal is gonna fight the child, and. here you got uh, this yeah <laughs> wait she's not talking to me she's of course talking to you um we're going to yeah i guess play him um play one of my face cards here we have scrooge mcduck the richest duck in the world he's a three five uh during my turn he has evasive and oh, during your turn yeah, yeah uh during my turn, whenever this character banishes another character in challenge, I'm going to play an item for free. The cool thing I noticed is if you look at the foiling at an angle, he's got dollar signs. Do you see that? That's pretty dope. I don't know if we can get that to show up I, on I don't, camera. I don't know that that's going to But, like, the, there's, like, dollar signs that it, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see that. That's so cool. I love that. All right. That's the end of my turn. Cool. All right. Ready, set, draw. I will gain one. For Bill Manor. Okay. Um, then I will play out Horus. All right. That's you. Ready, set, draw. Draw two. Um, We're just going to yeah we're going to quest for two okay so eight awesome. yep and then we're going to put um i can't tell who's winning oh. Uh, we are down. currently tied in yeah. uh, lore. 8 8 8 So eight, Cogsworth eight. face down. So it would have been a good card to play with my other Maui. Second Maui. Uh, but we also have uh, Kakamora. So when I play this character, each opponent loses one more. Uh, so now I'm winning. Uh, <laughs> and then I'll pass the turn. All right. All right. I'll, gain, I'll go back up to 8, thanks to Deville Manor. Um, going to play out Dalmatian Puppy, mm -hmm. Tail Wagger, one of the ones I can have 99 copies of. Spoilers, the starter deck does not come with 99 copies of this card. Why would it? Comes five. Come on, five. You get so I many. like that it's at least one more than the normal amount of cards you can put in yeah. the deck. So they can take there's, advantage. There's of five different arts of the, of the card. Oh, it gives good. you one of yeah. each, which is, which yeah. is very fun. Which is very fun. Um, we are going to Black Maui. You either deletes the base or deletes one of the guy. Well, we can't do anything with that. Um, so at the very least, it's almost a trade for her everything. Yeah, I'm just gonna quest go up to okay. nine. Pass the turn to you. I will ready. And like, it's such a good card too, because like, it's inkable. Yeah. It's two cost. Uh... It's two three, which like is good, which are good stats for a two drop. 
Um, only quest for one, but as as you can see, there's plenty of puppy synergies that can work with that. Uh, oh yeah, cool idea for a deck. I feel like I need to take advantage of this card I just drew. <laughs> you can do that by passing the turn. No, no, it won't be that. One of these, one of these days, one of these days. It's um, so yeah, we're gonna play Maid Marion. Uh, when I play this character, chosen character gets minus two strength on a turn. So Horus okay. will go down to a two, two three. three, and then Scrooge McDuck will challenge him. I'll get just two. Damage on Scrooge. Maui will challenge Deville Manor. And then we're going to quest for uh, two more lore. So I'm up to 10 now. Okay. And that will be the end of my turn. All right. Reset. Draw. Pay one for Pluto. Friendly Pooch. Brought Pluto back? Yeah, I got another one. <laughs> You don't think you'll get destroyed by a giant dragon again? I mean, that was a different puppy that got immolated by dragon fire. Um... I'll do my best to destroy him anyway. <laughs> that's, the way, that's the way to do it, Graham. Yeah. Um... None of those have ongoing abilities, so they're just there until they die. This character trust character gets minus mm -hmm. two. I don't know if that deck has the fancy Granny Tala, so then I don't either. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna trade into Granny Grandma Tala, All right. just in case. Oh. Yeah, that's my turn. Agram said, "Murder them puppies." <laughs> I'm gonna put a Moana face down. But don't worry about it because I have hey, your yeah, hand. Yeah. Too lazy. Ooh. Uh, unfortunately, nothing for my Maui to scratch nope. into, but I can gain one, two, three, four lore mm -hmm. up to 14. And then that's the end of my turn. Set draw. Okay, we have Mouth Well. Uh, we'll. Pay two for Strike a Good Match, uh, which is a song which uh, Pluto doesn't cost enough for me to have been able to sing it for free. Uh, I'll draw two cards, then discard a card. So let's draw two. It's mm. very funny. I will discard Roly. All right. Um, Two, three, four, five. Ooh. Okay. Uh, I will pass the turn. Okay. So ready, set, draw. Yeah, yeah. Are, I'm sorry. Is, is that cheating? Are you <laughs> dropping cards to pick up later? Yes. Hey. Um, uh, yes. My my yeah. super cool floor strat. Two. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm up to nineteen lore. Mm -hmm. And I do have another evasive Moana. So good luck. Pass turn. <laughs> I'll draw. All right. Well, if I'm going out, I'm going out with a determined defender. I'm going to shift hey, Pluto look at that. over that. Um, he is. Uh, so shift five, since I have a Pluto in play, I can play him over there for that reduced mm -hmm. cost. Uh, he has bodyguard. Um, and at the start of my turn, I can remove up to three damage from him. But it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Do you want to get his lore? Uh, I'm thinking about it. I mean, it doesn't matter because no matter what, it's yeah. You know, so I'm just gonna that to go to eleven, and then pass the turn. All right, I will ready, set, draw, and Scrooge is my uh, face card. So I'm gonna go ahead and have him win the game for me. Very nice. Boop. Yeah. So yeah, that was, that was a fun game. It was very even for for a, a good long chunk of it. Yeah.
So I killed all the dogs. So, uh, Cannon, Graham hates dogs? I'm the real Cruella de Vil. Graham hurts dogs? What? Yeah. You heard it here first. Do we have time for another game? Do a... Um, it's 310. I uh, did start 10 minutes late. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, let's go ahead for a second game. All right. Yeah. Who won that one? Was that Graham? I got that one. Mm. So we do we want to randomize which decks we get? Sure. And um we want to include these in the randomization or go nah. back to the okay. So uh I have a D twenty, so it's like you know one through four, you know, multiples. Nikki, of four. pick a number one through five. Four. Cool, I'm gonna take it. <laughs> Nikki, pick a number one through four. One. All right, let's take this one. That's, That's not the last ones that you used, are they? No, no, no. Put that okay. on the side. So I have the yeah. Ruby Emerald deck from the first chapter. I got the uh, Sapphire Steel one from the first chapter. All right. So we got some uh, first Ooh. chapter decks. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. <laughs> boom. Boom, boom, boom. Ready. You can go first since, uh, you know, I won. Uh, can I just keep this as is? Uh, kick back one. Two. And we'll kick back two. Okay. Put the bottom the right way. Boom. Uh, quick shuffle. I am going to reveal your hand. Yes, uh, frying <laughs> pan. Yes, no. Face down. Okay. I have a shield of virtue that I'll put face down and use that to play Duke of Wesselton. Duke of Wesselton. The the other one, not the one I played last game. Or I guess put face down. Anyways, let's see if I can. Draw. Reveal Kristoff. Put him down. Spin two. For one jump ahead to the top card of my deck, face down to my inkwell, exerted. That's good. Thanks. Already set draw. You know what? I got another shield of virtue, so we're not going to throw that face down. And of course, he's not virtuous. He kills puppies. Yeah. At least he did twice in the last. Uh, several you know, quite times. several times. In the last uh, game. Sorry. Get out of stolen scimitar. He is Cruella. And I will uh, quest with the Duke, and that's the end of my turn there. Cool. Ready, set, draw. Um, we're going to spend three for Mickey Mouse Detective with the top card of my deck face down as an exerted ink. Uh, pass. All right. I will ready, set, draw. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play this Stolen Scimitar face down. And going to get out Mickey Mouse, Steamboat Pilot, public domain. <laughs> uh, and I will uh, quest with the Duke. And that's the end of my turn. All right. Draw. Going to lose you're going to lose that's what i'm saying yeah <laughs> um we're gonna put goons all right face down this thing i guess uh, yeah, you don't uh, need a ready what do you need a ready for so we're going to spend two for one jump ahead put the top one down mm -hmm. as that quit ramp and then no <laughs> uh 
And I played Kristoff, who was a free Bro3. Nine, but, which I um, believe is uh, in low 2.0, said just because he's public domain doesn't mean the mouse overlords won't harass you, Graham. <laughs> That's true. Uh, I'm going to quest for one. Your turn. All right. I will ready to draw. And then let's see. I got some options here. I'm going to get. Sergeant Tibbs face down. Yeah, it's a, it's Dan. He said he was just at Disney World and saw the jail. Yeah. <laughs> he was on a boat though, so I am going to get out my Pongo. Uh the old rascal. Objective one worked. Yeah. Well, he still quests for two and has evasive, so that's pretty cool. And then the one head's three. just when he plays. Yeah, he, he is just a one three for one. Okay. Um, my steamboat pilot is gonna take him out. Okay. Take one damage in return. Duke, yes, my Duke is gonna quest. And then that's the end of my turn. All right. Ready, set, draw. Stone six for sit for Mufasa. Ooh, four six. Awesome. Four six. The quest for three. I don't like that at all. Uh, I wouldn't put it in there. Um, we're gonna reveal Eric. Put him down. Mm -hmm. uh, tap that for develop your brain. I'll put the top two cards in my deck. Put one in my hand. One on the bottom. That and that down there. Okay. And then Kristoff. Kristoff just gonna quest for two. Seems good. Two out of three. Your turn. All right. I will ready. When will it be my turn? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> next time? I don't know. So, let's see. No, next One, next two. week is uh, Flesh and Blood. Spoilers. Nah, it's fine. Good. Here's how the game goes. We already filmed it earlier today. <laughs> um, uh, I'm going to put Sergeant Tim's face down. And I'm not going to get out my... Captain, who is a 6 5. The thing is, I have about that being so I think so. That one didn't work. Yeah. Uh, Pongo is going to give me two lore. Mm -hmm. The Duke is going to give me one lore. Mm -hmm. The Mickey is going to dry right into Kristoff. Okay. That's so, great. Yep. Yeah, so Flesh and Blood is next week with Brett and Nick. And we're going to go with the Earth Day vibe. And it's going to be old old him or old time. I don't quite know how to do that. And Briar Blitz. So yeah. going to keep with that Earth Day vibe. Okay. I realize now I should have utilized my scimitar with the Duke. Oh. It would have been a much better trade, but I just keep forgetting about this. Uh, we are going to do a thing, which is going to be very cool. Ooh, do that. Uh, like, do you have to lose him if you run into him? All right, uh, we're going to spend two for Prince Eric. One three with Challenger, so when he is challenging, he gets plus two attack. Mm -hmm. Or strength or might or power, whatever they call it in this game. <laughs> strength and willpower, I think. Strength and willpower. No. Uh, then... Four for Maleficent. Mm. A three four with two. Then I'm gonna quest for three. Go to six. All right, We're going on a quest. Uh, hey, that's still good. Actually, well, one second, one second, <laughs> one second. I got one more open. Mm -hmm. Ink. Yeah, we're gonna uh, cannon fire Duke of Leslington. Fire the cannons, deal two damage. The end. All right, your turn. I will ready. Ooh. Draw. No, I'm just saying, ooh, sorry. I'm in. Um, yeah. Captain's gonna yeah. fight Mufasa, so four I damage. get four damage on him. Hopefully, he lives. Yeah. Um. Pongo will quest to give me up to eight, five. Um, we're gonna spend four 
Bronze Scar, Fiery Usurper. Is it five three? Fiery Usurper. So fire. I will pass turn. Okay. All right, Eric, thank you for your service. Um, we're gonna take out Captain. Are you killing a prince? Uh, the prince killed a horse. The if... prince and the horse killed each other. Oh, is Eric what? actually a prince? Yeah. Eric, is it? Is it from name? Ariel? It's not human. Uh... Oh my god. Uh, one, two, three, four, five for Simba. Simba. Uh, he heard what you did about his father. Mm -hmm. Um, then I think I'm just gonna quest for two to go to eight. Yeah, this time his father was trampled by a single horse. So, uh, the two. Okay. I will ready, set, draw. Um, this one. We're going to. Uh, Scar's gonna trade with Maleficent. Okay. Mm -hmm. Congo is gonna get me two lore. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna play Aladdin, Prince Ali. He's got ward. Yeah, just mm -hmm. can't target this up for attack. Yep. And then we're also gonna get out the loudmouth parrot Iago. I love Iago. He's great. Icon. A uh, legend. <laughs> yeah. I can tap him to give chosen target character reckless until my next turn. So that is the end of my turn. All right, we'll draw. Um, that's funny. Uh, we'll do one, two, three, four for the beast. Sorry, five. He costs five. Mm -hmm. um, when I play this character, I can banish chosen item. I needed that. I finally needed it. I'm so I'm so sorry. I'm so so sorry. <laughs> um, I can't challenge, so I might as well just quest for two to go to ten. Uh, your turn. I will ready draw. That's a card. Do you imagine the beast just took a full bite of that set? Jesus. Just full of um, cookie monster, just perfect bite mark. Broke off metal. So we're actually going to put, he's got a sword face down. Okay. You don't have a sword in your middle. Yeah. He had a sword. He had a sword. I had a sword. Um, when I was a young dwarf hog. Rapunzel? Hey! Uh, when I play this, one. each opponent loses one lore, so that's pretty fun. Three, five. No, love. Um, and then... Uh, he does nothing he's now. Four, he's a four, four, four for two. Three, five on my turn when I ba when I challenge and banish another character, uh, I gain a lore. So I'm gonna might... give the beast reckless. Okay. Just so slow you down lore wise. I know I'll lose a guy out of it, but I'm fine with that. I'm gonna gain three lore. Mm -hmm. Go up to thirteen. Yep. Yeah. Right, that's it. Right. Set. Uh seven four. Get back. Wish it wasn't. Are you out of cards in hand? I am. Yeah, we're, we're both in top deck mode. Yeah. Kind of the downside of this game. There's not a ton of card draw still. Um, but she's drawing. He has to attack. He can do whatever he pleases. Uh, so I think what we're going to do. Uh, I know my other removals can't do anything against him. Uh, beast will eat the bird. Um, it's like a setup to like one of those old yeah, nursery rhymes or something. Yeah. Beasts eat the birds, and then the birds eat. Yeah, the well, you're, I'm on one side of the river. I have the beast, Iago, and a head of cabbage. Um, <laughs> you can't leave Iago with the head of cabbage. And, yeah, uh, I think Simba's gonna. Uh, Simba's gonna. Uh, Simba's gonna challenge Aladdin, and I gain a lore for challenge for banishing in a challenge. All right. All right. Uh, that's me. Ready, set, draw. Um, 
feel like that should be a, a card game. Ready, set, draw. I get I I guarantee there is a card mm -hmm. game out there called Ready Set Draw. <laughs> I guarantee you give me like a ten, right. give me ten minutes, I will go into the warehouse, <laughs> I will find it. Congo is going to quest. So fifteen. Rapunzel's gonna quest. Yeah. Seventeen. And then I'm gonna play Peter Pan, who has evasive. So tricky situation. Yeah. Pass. Yeah. All right. Evasive is a good mechanic. Mm -hmm. Um, because he's because, flying. Because uh, people believe in him because they clap their hands. Oh. Uh, since this game does not have a unique rule, which is weird. Play out second Maleficent. Because uh, they're glimmers of their characters formed by the ink. Yeah, it's still weird. Uh, <laughs> it's in the lore. Um, they made it make sense in the lore. I'm just saying. Uh, like, I mean, uh, we'll get as much as we can. But Kingdom Hearts esque. Uh, so Simba's gonna run over Rapunzel. Not your trick. Yeah, Ready yeah. Set Bet is yeah. a game, uh, Agram, but uh, uh, I think that's. Your turn. Do I, have to I don't think that's a rolling right, though, is it? What it is... might be a rolling. Ready Set Bet? Do you know that one? Actually, no. Keep it. Right. Doesn't matter. I can't. It's I know it has enough. horses. Quest for six. It's like a racing game. Ready Set Bet, yeah, I believe from John D. Clare. Um, yeah, okay, right. take it on. All right, so draw. Hey, you know what? Just to rub salt in the wound, I'll make you lose a lore by playing us Aladdin. <laughs> uh, Peter will give me one lore yep. so that I can win with Bongo. Yep. Did you win? Win? Yeah, I won. I won nice. one. How many puppies did you murder this? And time? that one significantly that fewer. Yeah, you didn't even murder any of my dog. I only had one. Any <laughs> of my dog. Yeah, see, I was already just ramping all, like, because I, yeah, I had three pieces of ramp and Mufasa on my opening hand. I'm like, yeah, cool, I can get it out. By the time I get it out, before I can do anything with it, if he just top decks a dragon fire, it's just gone. Right. Um, so, yep. So I believe I get something for winning. Uh, yes, you do wear the crown this week. <laughs> I am the king of Lorcana. Ow. <laughs> At least put it on straight, man. I tried. There you go. There you go. I worked very Beautiful. hard on that crown. Uh, hang on, I gotta, I, I gotta zoom in on for this one. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> All right. Well done. Good job. Did you win both of those then? Uh, yes, you did. Yep, won both games. That's why I'm the king. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, but yeah, cool. It's kind of cool to play the newest decks and then kind of flash back and play the oldest one yeah. and see some of the changes they've already done in the three sets. Oh, yeah. You can see you the progression. Do you have favorites yet? Like, uh, specific stuff that you play the most? I haven't played a ton of Lorcana, uh, because, like, I bought a good amount of the first set, um, then getting it was sort of wonky for a while, mm -hmm. so I took, I took a bit of a hiatus. Uh, I do really like a lot of stuff they've done, like, from the cards I've seen from Into the Inklands, the newest set. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of cool synergies with decks and introducing, like, the location mechanic, which I didn't think was going to be, I thought was going to be a little weird. Uh, but I think it works pretty well. Yeah. Um, yeah, I but, really I really liked that, like, the Ducks deck I played. Yeah. I thought that was cool. Um, next set, uh, Ursula's Return. Don't know where she's been, but she's yeah. back. She she was in the she was in this set somehow. Ursula returned. <laughs> like, um, like famously, Ursula, the best card from Into the Inklands, uh, and then it's like she returns. Okay, she yeah. was a really good card in the first. I, don't, she, I think she's been in every set. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know if she was in Bloodborne. She returns again. Uh, but in that set, they're gonna do uh, co-op scenarios, mm. and I am a sucker for a competitive game yeah. that turns into a co-op experience. So I might be buying a. Uh, healthy amount of that set. So. <laughs> that looks really cool. Nice. But yeah, I think that about probably does it for us. We're yep. going to bring the so ship in on time. We, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry for anybody who's actually lasted this entire, the, the beginning of this was very, very rough and we apologize. We will make sure that we are better and on time tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon, 4.30 Central, we are going to be playing Earth. Earth. 
Um, we are going to be doing a giveaway and there's going to be a special promo code for our listeners um, and watchers, I suppose. I'm so sorry. I'm doing it like a podcast. <laughs> um, <laughs> on Friday... Well, let's talk about better help, um... <laughs> No. <laughs> We're not getting paid for that. <laughs> um, we... Uh... <laughs> Such a big one. <laughs> um, but on Friday, we're going to continue with the uh, Earth uh, Earth Day theme. Mm -hmm. So we're playing Leaf on lunchtime equals game time. And uh, later on in the afternoon, shortly, so basically like an hour after that stream, we're going to be doing an unboxing of the new magic set that's dropping this Friday. Yeah. Uh, Thunder Junction. Out Outlaws of Thunder Junction, going to yeah. open up a play booster box, and we're and giving it away. We will be giving it away. Uh, so... Um, we'll have a, an entry open and if you are liking the contents of it or you really like the cards that are coming in, you can enter for a chance to win it. Um, but that will be Friday afternoon, uh, two 30. I'm sorry. I should give time. Yeah. yeah. Lunchtime equals game <laughs> time. <laughs> lunch. Just feel it. Where did you get the vibe? Tune into us on Twitch. The, the lunchtime equals game time is every Friday at, uh, oh. noon central and then the unboxing this friday is going to be uh 2 30 central and that'll be um... a dentist favorite time <laughs> i can't this is going in the shorts guys <laughs> no we're keeping it all in <laughs> all right all right but that'll be it for us guys uh thank you so much for tuning in and have a great one <gasps>